Hey, what's up everybody? It's Matt here with CF Pro Tools and in this video we're going to look at how to do uh, some slight modifications to your two-step order form and how you can add a billing field to that uh, for a little extra jazz. Okay, so let's take a quick look at what a, uh, a normal two-step order form would look like. Um, when you go to a two-step order form inside of ClickFunnels, um, generally you have, you know, very specific items, very specific elements that are going to be inside. Let's go look at what you can get in here. So if I click on the element, uh, information here, and then we go over to the two step, uh, we can start showing and hiding different items, different elements, right? So let's go to the advanced actually, um, hide shipping. We want to show shipping. Um, we want to show the order bump. Um, even though I'm probably not going to use it, I'm just going to put it in there to have a little extra stuff. Um, so I might hide the phone number just because why not? Um, so let's say uh, those are the items that we can edit inside of uh, CF Pro or inside of ClickFunnels. So let's go back to the settings and start taking a look at this. Let's see how it looks now. I'm going to hit save real quick. So we have uh, country... Shipping, full address, city name, country, state, province, and everything. So this is really uh, some shipping info, but what if we wanted to add in billing info as well? So uh, CF Pro Tools has an add-on called Magic Mover. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to add in some additional information in a new section. So I'm going to add a new section here. Um, right here, I'm going to do small, so it's the same size as that. Add a row. Uh, we're going to do one column row, and then we're going to actually go to the this section right here, and I'm going to give this section a name. It's going to be called CF Pro Tools Magic, all right? So uh, I'm just going to update that. That way it knows that this section is going to contain information or elements that I want to eventually move somewhere. In this case, we're going to make a shipping element. We're going to make a billing element. Um, so let's see if we can find that element. Um, form, maybe input billing, billing, billing address. This one right here. So the advanced form, billing address. We're going to add that in there because we want to add this in there right alongside um, our other information. So first, let's just use this and make sure that we can actually move this somewhere. First, what we need to do is go back to see a Pro Tools and grab a script. So once inside of CF Pro Tools, you're going to find and create your Magic Mover add-on. Just click Create New, go to the search by keyword, and do Magic Mover. Now, I've already got like one, probably enough of these in here, so I'm not going to create a new one. I'm just going to look through my existing ones and use this. There's no configuration really to this, so if you create it once, you're good to go. You can use that on as many funnels, on as many pages as you would like. So I'm going to copy that code out of there. And then we're going to go back to click funnels. We're going to go to the settings, go to the tracking code, back to the footer. And we're going to add that in here. So that way it allows us to move stuff, right? So uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to come back here. We're going to check out the instructions. So you can always click on show instructions if you're not seeing it. Um, so we have the CS, uh, the title with the, that section that I just created called CF Pro Tools Magic. And then what we need to do is create some more stuff. Uh, we have that element that we want to move. Maybe we want to move that after something else specifically. So we're going to look at here. Um, if we wanted to move it after the credit card form. Um, let's look at that for right now. Let's take that. I'm going to copy that out. So click on the CSS info. And then we're going to add that in. CF-move-after. And then we've got the double curly braces. And it says dot .el credit card form. But um, let's see where that actually goes. Um, on here and see how that looks. But I, I think actually, let's say before, I'm going to say before the credit card form, and then we're going to say update. I should put that in there in a particular place um, just to see how it looks. So we have the shipping. Oh, I see what happened. It actually added it in. Um, it actually did, but normally the information is on the first step instead of the credit card form. Um, let's do this. I'm going to click, I'm going to highlight this area and then I'm going to click on inspect and I am inside of Chrome. So if you're inside Chrome, you can follow along with this. Um, so what I'm going to do is just what I want to do is highlight just that form. So once you have highlighted what it is that you want to move it before or after, 
right click on that over here in the uh, inspection panel. Then you're going to come down to copy and you're going to go to copy selector. Okay, so we're going to copy that selector out. I'm going to try this like that um, and see if that works. Okay, I'm going to see if I can move this entire row. So the blue is the row. So if you're using click funnels and you're proficient with it, you know that the blue is the row, the green is the section, and the orange is pretty much always going to be your elements, right? So we're going to go back in here, um, grab this row, and we're going to change the settings on this to cf-move-after, put the curly braces in there, and then put that. That's what we just came up with in the selector, right? So we want to move this whole row after that. And I'm going to put some more information in the row if this works. So let's click Update and click Save and um, cross your fingers. Let's hope this works. All right. Technically, it worked. All right. Technically, it works. What I wanted to do, because it did move that whole section in there, um, is add an element and just do like a, a quick subhead. And we're going to put that up here. And it's, I want it to say shipping, just like this, um, but what? But it'll say billing info instead. So, so we're on to something. Things are coming along. Kind of what I want to experiment with here is whether or not we could do same billing as well and add that in here, because um, how cool would that be? Yeah, let's do the same billing and go same billing address. I'm pretty sure there's no configuration on this. So we'll copy that out. Let's show the instructions. Let's go here and do a subhead. Add that in. We're going to put that up here. Change that. CF-same-billing. We'll click update on this. And then uh, we need to add in the tracking codes. So let's go to the footer code and come down here. We have the order summary, the promo code, the magic mover, the same billing address. So basically in this whole row is going to get moved appropriately. So let's see how that worked out. And we're going to come down, click for same billing information. It did add a checkbox, didn't change my margins, but what we got, and I put in some random info in here, and now we're going to click for the same billing information. Bam, it put in the same information. So that does work. Let's see, that's the section and in the row, I've also moved the settings all the way out and the width is set to 100%. And I've also set in the advanced settings this to negative 25. Now that I'm looking at this, I don't actually know that I need that, so I'm just going to do that. Um, that pulls this in a little bit. So let's click save and see how this looks now. Hit preview. And maybe I do need to set that. Let's go back to this. My negative 25 might have actually done the trick. So, and we come down. I get a little bit OCD about this stuff. That actually looks pretty decent. Um, it's not quite the same. It looks like there might be a shadow here, but for the most part, I was able to get the billing information in here and integrate click for the same billing information. This could of course be customized and optimized for your purposes to do what you want to do with, uh, with your add-ons. Um, so once you've done with that, you come over here, put your promo code in, whatever you got, and buy your products. And um, that's all you need to do. Hopefully you guys like these uh, little tutorials on how to do uh, some things that, you know, a little bit out of the box, thinking outside of the, the realms of reality. Um, if you guys enjoy this, if you guys like what we're doing, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you guys want to see next. I will see you guys in another video, and I look forward to uh, seeing you guys the next time. All right, see ya.